Here are a few tips for you to make amazing steaks at home, even without an instant read digital thermometer. Buy good quality meat, either by prime or choice grade, but the select grade tends to be less marbled and tough. Try to get steak that are at least two inches thick. You can even request this from the butcher. Thicker steaks allow room for error to get the great grill marks and get the doneness that you want. Now, these two steaks, this piece is a New York strip and this is a ribeye. The ribeye is usually more marbled, although it comes from the same area of the beef, uh, just different parts. So my two steaks here have a dry rub for about an hour. So at least half an hour is good. And what I want to do first is to sear the steak. So I go through the extra trouble, which makes a big difference of searing the steak on a cast iron skillet. You can see that the cast iron skillet is really, really hot. It's smoking hot. And what I'm gonna do is just spritz a little bit of oil on the bottom and sear my steak. Goodbye. And searing basically seals the meat fibers on the outside and all the juices are inside and as the steaks barbecue, none of the juices will escape. So I'm gonna quickly sear it on the side and I like to also um, render a little bit of the fat. So I do put it on the fat so that it can render. And I'm gonna do the other side. So all sides of the steak actually get here. Okay, and once I've seared this, then I'm gonna be taking it out to the barbecue where I am going to grill it for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna put it on the barbecue. So what I'm gonna do in order to get those crisscross or hatch marks, I'm gonna put it on the diagonal. And I like my meat medium rare, so I'm gonna cook it for at least a minute and a half um, on one diagonal and then I'm going to switch it over to the other side. You can use your the hand trick which works when you don't have a digital thermometer but this is the hand trick. So you have your palm of your hand and this part of your hand is pretty soft. Pressing this would be what raw meat feels like. Okay. Now, if you gently get your second finger to your thumb, you'll feel it starts to firm up. So this is supposed to be medium rare. This is medium. And this is medium well. And this is well done. So what I like to do is when I press my meat, this is the ballpark squishiness that I'm trying to achieve. So let's go ahead. It's been about a minute and a half. I'm going to take my steak and I'm going to turn it to the other side. And you can put it on actually a different up part of the grate so you can get those um, grill marks. I'm going to do that for a minute and a half. Another minute and a half went by. I'm going to flip this over. And there you can see the wonderful grill marks. A minute and a half on the other side. 
flip it to the other diagonal. Now, when you squeeze the meat this way and you feel this, this is what you're looking for. So I can tell that this one is probably medium rare, more on the rare side, just the way I like it. So I'm gonna remove that. And this one is a little softer, but so I'm gonna use a digital thermometer to show you what the internal temperature of the meat is like. And what I aim for is about 125 degrees, and then with about a five minute resting period, this ends up being perfect for medium rare, but more on the rare side. And then if you want it a little more cooked, that would be about 130, 135. So let me put this in. So right on the money, about 124 degrees, okay? And this one, as I said, was a little softer. It's at 122 degrees. So I'm gonna have it rest for five minutes. And the reason for that is that the juices then redistribute themselves within the meat. Um, and when you start slicing, it's not going to um, completely leak out of the meat. And it also cooks for about five degrees more. Okay, so the moment of truth. Um, the way I just mentioned on how to cook your meat is a way that prevents you from having to continuously slice your piece of meat on the barbecue, which ends up allowing your juices to escape, resulting in a somewhat of a drier uh, steak. But here is where you just felt it with this part of your hand, and depending on what you desire, you can somewhat gauge how cooked you want your meat and whether this is going to be um, the right meat doneness for you. Let's go ahead and cut. Uh, this is the New York strip. And what I'm really looking for is medium rare, but more on the rare side. And there you have it. You can see it's a little blue there. And then this is the ribeye, which we know it's going to be a little less cooked, just because it's softer. And there you have it. can be found on sammywongskitchen.com. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and follow me on social media. Thanks!